Hey guys, Dr. Davlin, board certified dermatologist. Today's video will be talking about a very common condition known as hoary nevi or hoary's nevus. This is a common condition seen mainly in females of Asian extraction. They usually occur between the ages of 30 all the way up to 50, and they usually affect both cheeks. It's also known as bilateral otter-like macules, right? And these are super, super common. The distinguishing features with this is that they consist of flat brown to brown gray areas, which are discrete, in other words, like dots, and they affect both cheeks. Unlike freckles, which may fluctuate with the seasons in the sun exposure, these lesions do not fluctuate with seasonal or UV change. The good thing, however, is that effective treatments are possible and then these lesions respond very well to laser. Now, the flip side is that they often are confused with things like freckles, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, melasma, ill discrete um, areas of dermal melanocytosis, in other words, drop out of pigment from the top layer of the skin to the bottom layer, and many other lesions. Now, this is where things get really complex because usually in Asian females after the age of 40, most of them will have different types of pigment, including the pigment which I've mentioned. So you may have hoary nevi with other skin conditions that produce pigment. And a diagnosis is very important because that dictates treatments. Now, unlike other forms of pigment, generally speaking for hoary nevi, creams are ineffective. The reason being is that the pigment itself lies deep in the skin. So how do we treat them and what's the prognosis? So when you see a dermatologist, generally speaking, we understand the diagnosis very quickly because they're quite easy to pick up. We use lasers and basically there are two types of lasers, the older Q-switch lasers or nanosecond lasers. And they include things like your C6, your Revlite, your Hollywood, your Hollywood Spectra and your QRAS lasers. They still produce a good outcome that's reproducible and they may need between six to 12 treatments before it goes. Now with the older fashioned Q-switch lasers, the chances of post-inflammatory darkening or post-treatment whitening is increased. When you use the newer lasers, including your PicoSure, your PicoSure Pro, or your PicoA lasers, the chances of side effects such as paradoxical darkening of the skin or lightening of the skin, if properly used, is much less. The number of treatments needed is also less. So it often takes between five to nine sessions using a picosecond laser compared to using the older fashion lasers itself. Now treatments are generally spaced between four to eight weeks apart. And unlike conditions like melasma, once treated, your hoary nevi is very unlikely to recur. So the good news is that they're super easy to treat. It's not really about if they can be treated. It's generally speaking about the number of sessions needed to actually treat these lesions. Now the caveat is that there are abnormal forms of hoary nevi which affect both your epidermis and your dermis. In other words, mixed, they're extraordinarily rare compared to the dermal component of hoary. In that situation, we may flip the wavelengths. In other words, I might use something like the PicoSure Pro to get the deeper wavelengths or the, or the PicoA 1064, but then I might flip the wavelength um, usually at six to eight treatments and use the 532 in a picosecond uh, pulse duration to treat the more superficial component. So certainly these are rarer compared to the dermal component of hoary nevi. Guys, I hope you liked the video. It's a short one, but it gives you an idea how specialists manage this super common condition.